In the previous tutorial, we have talked about how you can install Python 3 and create your local virtual environment on the Windows 10 machine. Today we continue to talk about the Python 3 and how you can understand data types is coming up. Hello guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to Smart Spade Information Technology Blog. This channel is all about to help you guys understand an IT field in a practical way. As you can see from my screen, that's what we're gonna cover up in today's tutorial. Numbers, booleans, strings, lists, tuples and dictionaries. But before we're gonna jump into command line, I wanna give you some preview of what it's gonna be all about. In Python, like in all programming languages, data type are used in classifying one particular type of data. This is important because the specific data type you use will determine what value you can assign to it and what you can do to it. In this tutorial, we will go over the important data types in native to Python. This is not an exhaustive investigation of data types, but will help you become more familiar with what option you have available to you in Python 3. But if you get missed your but if you got missed how we install a local virtual environment then you have to go click on the link below to check it out how we did it on our previous tutorial and if you have ready your virtual environment ready and work set up for our tutorial today then let's go ahead and jump into command line as you can see from the follow-up screen that are right now inside of the PowerShell on the Windows 10 machine if you miss this part how you can access your virtual environment on the local machine and how you can create and configure it, you have to follow the link that I have provided in the description below so that you know how to set it up on your Windows 10 machine. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about, like I said before, about data types. The first data type that we're gonna cover is the numbers. I'm going to use Interactive Console or someone called Interactive Mode in the PowerShell. So whenever you type in the PowerShell inside of your virtual local environment and Python name, it straight away redirects you right inside of the Python console. So whenever you assign any integral string booleans, the Python will interpret it all these numbers, bullets, commands in your code and translate it on a Python language. You are not required to declare what kind of data type you are entering. Python will consider any number written without decimal as integral. <clears throat> For instance, 138, and any number written with decimal as a float, 138.0. So, if you want to just test it out, let's type it in, for instance, for Integra, uh, my Integra equal to, for instance, minus 25. Then we have to, if you want to see result, we have to assign the print command. Print my integral name and hit enter and as you can see that whenever you cite for integral name it just printed out the numbers that we assigned to it let's say you want to assign a bit more complicated formula let's say um, we can do math with integrals in Python as well let's try an integral and ands space equal for instance 116 minus 68 uh, sorry, 168 space and uh, hit enter and now we want to see resolve if you gotta again repeat the same command integral ands and hit enter it's gonna give you a result of how much is going to be if you want 116 
you got um, uh, minus 68 you can just if you don't trust you can just double check on your calculator and you will see it's gonna match the same Integers can be used in many ways with the Python programs and as you continue to learn more about the language, you will leave a lot of opportunities to work with integers and understand more about the data types. Floating point numbers. A floating point number or a float is a real number meaning that it can be either a rational or a rational number. Because of this, Floating point number can be numbers that can contain a fractional part, such as 9.0 or, for instance, 116.42. Simply speaking, for the purpose of thinking of flow in the Python program, it's a number that contains a decimal point. Like we did with the Integra, we can print out a floating point number in a simple way. Let's try, um, let's try declare a variable that stands in the for a float uh, like so. My float space equal, for instance, 17.3. Hit enter, then print out result like we used to do with integrals. And whenever you hit enter, you will see the result that you have assigned for the floating numbers, which is float, which is 17.3. Let's say um, you want to do a bit different way. Uh, float and equal 564 let's say dot 0 then plus 365.24 right then I want to see result let's print this out print float and and hit enter it's gonna give you right away result or it's going to be 564.0 plus 365.24. Like I told you before, if you not trust how it calculates, then you can check this out on your external calculator or your on your Windows built-in calculator. Just make sure just match the result. The bullet's data type can be one of two modules either true or false. Bullets are used to represent the true value that are associated with the logic branch of mathematics which inform algorithms in the computer science. Whenever you see the data type boolean, it will start with a capitalized B because it's named for the mathematical George Boolean. The value true or false will also always be with a capital T and F respectively, as they are special value in Python. Many operations in the mass give us answer that eva evaluate to either true or false. Let's say for instance 500 is greater than 100, it's a true. Or let's say 1 is a <clears throat> look, 1 is a greater than 5, it's a false because it's not true, right? Or let's say with the less, 200 is a less than 400. It's true. 4 less is it than 2. It's a false because 4 is a greater than 2. Or equal 5 equal 5 is a true. Or 5 equal to 400. It's a false because 500 not equal to 400. Let's check this out what it looks like with the bullet. My bool you not you you're not supposed to time bool in the full word you can just type my bool equal uh let's say five is greater than 
8. Then hit enter and print <coughs> print the result of my bullet. It's gonna give it the false <coughs> because <coughs> Python is right away inter um, translate your boolean command with a false or true so it knows right away what is right what is it no so if he knows that I mean the Python it knows that 5 is not greater than 8 so it becomes false if it was l <clears throat> less than 8 it becomes true as you write more progress in Python you will become more familiar with the how boolean works and how different function and operation evaluating to either true or false can change the course of the program. A string is a sequence of one or more characters, letters, numbers, symbols that can be either a constant or a variable. Strings exist with either single quotes or double quotes in Python. So to create a string and close a sequence of the character in the quotes. What I mean by single quote, that's what it looks like. Like so. That's the single quote. This is <clears throat> single one. And close close it. The double quotes like so. You can choose to use either single one or double one, but whichever you decide on you should be consistent with the program. The simple problem Hello World demonstrates how a string can be used in the computer programming as the characters that make up the phrase Hello World are string. Let's try this out. <clears throat> For instance, uh, let's give it the name and the short name H which stands for hello and W which stands for word. Then we're gonna space equal and assign it um, double quotes hello comma word and double quotes is closed then hit enter and what we need to do is just print the result same way like we did before print and the name of our <coughs> string which is hw close it and it's gonna print out the the <clears throat> the name that we give up for HW <clears throat> variable. A list is a mutable or changeable order sequence of elements. Each element or value that inside of the list is called item. Just as a string are defined as a character between quotes, lists are defined by having value between square brackets. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, I just give it the, any 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 name. Um, let's, for instance, um, lovely uh, lovely names, and I'm gonna give it the lovely names. Um, explanation and the square brackets let's say um, don't forget you have to put a double quotes or single quotes whenever it relates to the string so I'm gonna use a single one uh, let's say um, Peter closing then um, Single one opens, Alex closing, 
then single one open and single one closing and closing brackets uh, now just hit enter and now I want to print result print and the name of lovely names right and close and now it's gonna give you the list of all those names that you put inside of the string list as you can see in my case that just give it three names in your case it could be any information that you provide inside of the list string a tuple is used for grouping data it's an immutable or unchangeable order sequence of elements tuple are very similar to lists but they use parentheses instead of square brackets and because they are immutable their value cannot be modified a tuple looks like this um, let's open up and in a single quote I'm gonna put just blue coral let's say like so then comma and pillar let's say coral and one yeah, don't forget put single and double quotes like I did in my case. That's what it looks like at uh, tuples. Let's let's show you the good example. Let's say you wanna say um, uh, we can store like uh, tuples and variables to print out some like coral. Coral equals to and after that parents is open and inside the parents we're gonna put something like like we did before blue coral parent, and now I want a single pole close and comma then uh, um, let's say again P LR And let's close the parentheses. Uh, hit enter and let's print this out like we did before. And whenever you print this out, it's pretty much looks same like with the, with the list, but like I said before, the information that you put inside is not modified, you cannot modify it whenever it's permanent. But and instead of the square, you just using using pencils. That's the all difference. The dictionary is a Python building mapping type. This means that dictionaries map keys to values, and this key value pair are useful way to store data in Python. Dictionary is constructed with the curly braces on either side. Uh, typically used to hold data that are related, such as the information contained in an ID, a directory, something look like this. That's what it looks like. You will notice that in addition to the curly braces, there are also columns throughout the dictionary. The words to the left of the columns are the keys. Keys can be made up of any immutable data type. The keys in the dictionaries above are names, animals, color, location. The words to the right of the columns are the value. Value can be compared, uh, uh, composed of any data type. The value is dictionary above are semi, shark, blue, ocean. Uh, like the other data types, let's store the dictionary inside of the variable and print it out. Let's say 
let's say for instance I'm gonna just go back so don't um, I don't want to just erase that and say semi let's say semi equal name semi animal shark color blue location ocean it's, I'm not gonna change it because it's gonna take some time to change it out and hit enter and then just print the result like we used to do before and as you can see at the output is color blue animal shark name semi location ocean if you want to isolate semi's color we can do so by calling semi color um, let me show you what is what I mean by this uh, print then isolation means semi then square uh, square brackets open single quote and color you just choose just pick the one of them single quote close and square bracket close as well and it's gonna print out the words result is blue that's what it's corresponding to at this point you should have a better understanding of some of the major data types that are available for you to use in python each of these data types will become important as you develop programming projects in the python language you can learn about each of the data type above in more detail by reading the following specific tutorials numbers booleans strings links tuples dic dic dictionaries that we covered in this tutorial you can find them all over the google or in the wikipedia that's it guys in the next part we gotta cover understanding a classes and instance variables in the python tree if you like this video guys please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit likes and I'll see you guys in the next part.